China's EV influence is spilling to other parts of the globe. Chinese company KTL, the world's largest EV battery maker, is working on a new skateboard platform set to underpin EVs from other automakers. If you don't know, KTL is a battery supplier for Tesla and many other reputed original equipment manufacturers. So this invention is going to blow away many EV companies for sure. Come, let's dive deeper for more info. The CIC, KTL Integrated Intelligent Chassis, has already started real-world testing in China, promising a range of 621 miles between charges. China's contemporary Amperex Technology Limited, the world's largest battery manufacturer, announced over the weekend that it had developed a new skateboard chassis equipped with a structural battery pack that can deliver 621 miles of range. Its new platform is called the KTL Integrated Intelligent Chassis. And the focus here is something that has reverberated across the EV industry, minimizing the number of components, making manufacturing less complex, and rationalize costs. The CIIC combines batteries, electric motors, and other critical components into a single platform, as per the reports. This integration is said to lower costs, weight, and consumption while maximizing interior space. This skateboard chassis will likely underpin an EV from Hoson Auto, which owns the Netta brand. It's expected to launch in the third quarter of 2024 in China. It could also underpin non-Chinese EVs. In December 2022, KTL announced that it had signed a memorandum of understanding with Vietnamese manufacturer VinFast to expand collaboration in areas including CIIC. The timeline for the EV that will emerge out of this partnership is unknown. Impressively, CITL managed to achieve an efficiency of 10.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, or roughly 5.92 miles per kWeh. For context, that's significantly better than the efficiency of the Tesla Model 3 long range. According to the EPA, the 2022 Model 3 has an efficiency of 26 kWh per 100 miles, or 3.8 miles per kWh. Although the CIIC's efficiency is lower than the Mercedes EQXX, which last year covered nearly 750 miles on a single charge on a drive from Germany to the UK and delivered an efficiency of 8.3 kWh per 62 miles. Figures from the China light duty test cycle tend to be overly optimistic. They can be 35% higher than EPA numbers. By that calculation, the range would be just above 400 miles, which is still impressive, and only a handful of EVs in the US today, like the Tesla Model S and the Lucid Air Grand Touring, can reach that figure. Also impressive is the claimed charging time of 5 minutes to add 186 miles of range. Chinese car makers are helping other Asian and South American countries boost their EV adoption rates, one study showed. So, even though we may or may not see technologies like the CIC here in the US, it's important to keep an eye out on the world's largest EV market. Monitoring the EV space on the other side of the globe could potentially help US car makers stay competitive, foster growth, and potentially solve some of the daunting manufacturing challenges that have led to several delays. According to the company, the battery of the CIIC can replenish 186 miles of range in five minutes when connected to a fast charger. In terms of efficiency, an impressive average consumption of 10.5 kWh per 100 km was achieved during testing, alongside the 621 mile range. The latter was reduced by 30% in temperatures of 19.4 degree Fahrenheit, meaning that the EV could still travel 435 miles in cold weather. The results were shared by Wu Kai, KTL's chief scientist, during his talk at the Dishui Lake Summit of the International Automotive Conference on November 30th. Kai said that winter testing took place in Haya and summer testing in Turpin. KTL's new skateboard chassis uses the CTC cell to chassis technology. The platform integrates electric motors, battery packs, high and low voltage systems, steering and brakes, reducing production costs and development times. At the same time, it is beneficial for packaging and gives more freedom to automotive designers, being compatible with different body styles. Catiel is not interested in rolling out a self-branded EV, but plans on sharing the technology with other companies as part of its multiple partnerships. The first automaker to use the CIIC in a production model will be Hoson Auto from China. 
Following an agreement signed in January 2023, Hoson and Katiel announced the development of a new CIIC-based EV, which is expected to enter production in the third quarter of 2024. According to reports from China, the prototype striking the results, as mentioned earlier, was a small sedan, likely coming from Netta, which is a Hoson-owned brand. Note that Katiel and Netta expanded their strategic partnership with a new agreement that was signed in October 2023, although the press release didn't mention anything about a new model. So that's all for today. What do you think about the groundbreaking announcement by KTL? Is it going to surpass Tesla's value? Comment down your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.